hip hop, hip hop, yeah. hip hop, hip hop, bars is back, hip hop, Sam hip and hop, oh god. Pop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side. Yeah, and you heard it. You gotta stay in your neighborhood. You, you, it's a, it's an honor that comes to that. But at the same time, a lot of people die doing that. So just talk about that, that double-edged sword of staying in the neighborhood and being true to your roots, but then ultimately wanting to get out of that situation and make a better life for yourself. I mean, if people feel like. You not you you not for your city if you stay if you don't stay in your city then they not for you honestly because it's like yeah. all right y'all want me to stay in the city part I'm risking my life uh, every single day as soon as I step out the curb but like, I'm risking my life and I gotta do I I can't be in the house because far as like my job I rap I go to shows I perform I go to the studio I'm risking my life so y'all want me to stay in my city possibly die. Just because of the fact y'all want me to say, oh, yeah, I'm still in my city. I wreck my city. I can wreck my city a million miles away. That don't That's, right. difference. That's where I'm from. You feel me? So I'm going to be repping my city from over here because I want to, you feel me? I, I, I'm not ready to die. Just like right. some shit like that. I still got a lot to accomplish. Y'all want me to be in my city. Motherfuckers looking at me crazy all day, every day. Now I got to possibly risk my life in jail. Or mm -hmm. my life by getting buried, you know, because I'm not letting nobody do nothing to me. But, I hear you, man. Yeah, man. So, um, Pop Smoke, man. Did you um have any relationship with him? And what do you think about Pop Smoke? No, listen, what's crazy is Pop Smoke, like he he was he was hot to me. You feel me? I had this track. I was gonna put Fabio Foreign and Pop Smoke on there. Mm -hmm. It's called it's called Basic. I actually dropped the track with Fabio Pop Smoke the day he died. The next day, he was supposed to go to the studio and lay his verse on it. Wow. And he never got a chance to. So I didn't really get the bill with Pop Smoke you feel me, due to the situation that happened. You feel me? But, I mean, like, he he, he left a, a crazy-ass impact on the world. So rest in peace to him. But. Mm -hmm. You know, look. <laughs> living in Philadelphia and then being in the rap game and then seeing death all the time, it, it puts a certain trauma on you. It has to, you hear about mental health in 2020 and then you hear about people going to talk to people. And, you know, obviously it wasn't popular for us to go to talk to anybody. How do you feel? Is it kind of like a self-medication for you right now when you find a success and had time to kind of think about things and digest things? Or is it like, nah, I, I think people need to go talk to people. Yeah, I don't, I really, I can't answer that question because I grew up, on this shit, like since a child, like a baby, I grew up on it. So it's like to me, and it, it, it's not supposed to be like this. I I know that, but it's just like to me, it's normal. Like that's like one of the most common things I say is death, or you feel me? People getting arrested, or people. So it's like it's normal to me. I feel like like if you come from where I come from, that's not nothing you can actually talk about because it's like. I could talk my head off about the situation. At the end of the day, I'm still going back to the hood and still seeing the same shit. So it's like that's something you get used to, even though that's not it's not supposed to be a normal thing, but that's something mm -hmm. you get used to. Like like uh my homies get killed. Yeah, it hurt me every time, but it's like I'm used mm -hmm. to it. You know? Like it, it, it's crazy. Like I, I don't know. I don't think it's no no person on this world or no therapist or anything that can fix it. I just feel like that's a conversation between you and God. Like, hey, nobody can talk to you and fix that. Like, it's impossible if you ask me. I don't, I don't get it. Like, if that's the case, then nobody in this world will be hurting no more. You feel me? Because yeah. there's somebody out there. Like, and then that you, you, a person can go to a therapist and talk their head off and everything. And then they, they're fixing their problems. You know, we're just not weighing them down as much because they actually got somebody to sit there and talk to it about. But the problem's still going to be there. They ain't helping not one bit for them. So. Definitely. Um, the Nicki Minaj, is that whole situation true? That she reached out for you for help or something like that? No, mm -hmm. man. I was just dead on Instagram, bro. People be taking shit too, too personal, but... It was just like it wasn't 
the people from our city, they know it was just like a little, this little joke. Everybody, you feel me? Make motherfuckers laugh. That's what it is. My whole city knew that. It was the people that wasn't from my city who was taking it serious. <laughs> Right. I don't care about niggas, but that's not, I don't, like, that's not even, he, all that, not even my type of twist, probably, like, I don't, I don't listen to female rappers, none of that, I really don't know nothing, you can't ask me anything about Nicki Minaj, I'm not gonna know nothing, the only thing I know about her is her name, that's it, no, that? that should be fake, me and Nicki Minaj do not have no personal relationship, no type of relationship, at all, never saw her before, None of that. If the bag came for a feature, though, you get to know one of them, right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, money is money. No matter who who me the verse, I gave the most corniest people versus for paper. So, of course, she comes right. with that bag right then. Yeah, me and I can get a verse, but to that day, like, it's, it's up in the air. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care for her. Business ventures, man. Uh, any ideas for business ventures outside of hip hop? Oh yeah, um, I'm actually starting like a trucking business with my brother, with oh. my big brother. And, um, yeah, like once that, once they get on the road and all that, I'm trying to really actually get into real, real estate. Like I was trying to, but that's like this is this real confusing for me. But it just take time to learn from the trucking shit to you way easier. So mm -hmm. I just put twenty thousand into that. And, um, my my goal with that is like get a truck, make that truck, make its own money, and with that money buy another truck and just keep getting trucks. I'm trying to hit like twenty trucks. You know, well, um, who was like the shipment? You know, they go all around the world and drive and shit, like make shipping. So that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I don't know if you know Wack One Hundred, but uh, Wack One Hundred, the games manager, he he has a trucking business. If you ever run into him out in Cali, he can no, probably. Right, I know yeah. Javante Gibbs got one too. Okay, okay. It don't seem it seems shit seem lucrative as hell to get. Oh, it is. Joints, Everything comes with a truck. Yeah, it's smart. Man. Yeah. Doing thing, man. I'm salute to you, man. What do you see yourself in the next five years, man? If, if, if as far as being um as the artist is concerned, man, what would you like to see yourself? I would like to see myself alive in five years. <laughs> like that's the main thing. But um, where I want to see myself in five years, like uh, I don't. I don't got nothing too crazy. I just, I want to see myself wealthy enough to the point where I can just take care. I can continue to take care of the people around me that I care about. You feel me? Like, I don't, I don't really ask for too much. I'm not nobody. Oh, I want to see myself driving Lamborghinis with a big ass. I really don't care about this stuff. I just want to be able to take care of myself and the people around me that I love. That's it. Like, as long as I can keep doing that, I'm comfortable. You got a top five for us? Top five rappers list for us? Top five rappers list for us? Interesting. It can, be, like, it can be from my city or anywhere. Anywhere. All right. Um, my my uh my homie Sloan, his name's Sloan, D from Sloan, and my homie D from Skiano. He um my homie Skiano, he just passed. He just got killed. A couple months ago, he got killed on July 6th, but Damn. he's still like one of the hottest to me. I don't care what nobody say. Um, my homie Tasmania. Uh, let me see who else. Um, my homie Young K. G1000. These are mine, these are all rappers from my city, too. No doubt. Um, who else? Trying to say Leaf War. Um, yeah, that's that's the only thing I that's the only people I can think of right now. I mean, like I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of shout out to Rocky too. She a chick, but she fire, like she hot. But that's only they the only people I can really think of right now. Like I can't my head everywhere, but yeah, they, they my list. That's like the Philly special right there. So so you have plans to um those people that you named to bring them up behind you, sort of like a state sure, property. Yeah, my, I'm not. I'm not one of the people who just want this for myself. Like I, if you look at my Instagram, you always see me shouting out all the rappers from my city. Or, like I did a, I had my own show uh, at the TLA in Philly. I brought out every rapper from my city I could think of. You feel me? Yeah. Like um, 
for me. I want I want to see everybody win. It's not I'm, it's, I'm not just in this for me. You feel me? Like at the end of the day, everybody got families to feed. Not even just rappers though. Like the comedians, all it. Like I I I should support before anything. I just want to see everybody win it. Give us some talent in Philly that we may not know that we need to know or that we need to have on this platform that deserves some shine. Like you said, name some people. Yeah, whether it be comedians, like you said, comedians, uh, artists, oh, hip-hop artists, whoever. The rappers I just said, them, as far as the comedians, you got my homie Funny Boy Quill. He, like, he's hilarious. Tiz215. We're trying to get him on. Yeah, Tiz, that's, that's my guy. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. Like, I don't really know too many too many comedians. I know um, Short Sleeve Carl. I know Bell J, Ish the Butler. That's that's probably it. Like I don't really know too many comedians, but yeah, they 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 the main one that that be having me cracking the fuck up. So Tish just moved out to Atlanta too, didn't he? I don't know. I, I don't think know. I seen. I think I seen that he good. made some good moves, man. I'm proud of everybody out there, man. Salute to all of y'all. I, I, I wish and pray for more and continual success to you in your career, bro. And I hope yeah, that you, uh, it, man. yeah, man. I hope that you eat and grow, and all your team grows, man. Give the people your uh, social media, pla- uh, yeah, your social media, jacks and everything like that, where they should follow you. Uh, you can catch me on everything under the same name, from YouTube to Twitter to Instagram to uh, the PS4 name, and that's Sim Santana. That's S I M X S A N T A N A. So definitely, man. We'll appreciate you, man. Like we said, much success to you in your career. We'll definitely be watching, man. We fans now. Absolutely. I appreciate it, Salute, right, brother. Man. Take care.